Hello, my name is Max, and based off of what my grades say about me, I'm destined to be a failure. Some days I can accept that, and others, it kind of sucks. If you were to go into the black hole that is my backpack, you'd find several things that define a below average high school student. The first is the calendar of all tutoring schedules. This is a familiar piece of paper for anyone who's slunking their way out of high school. If you're getting bad grades and you get called into your counselor's office, and at your counselor's office they always give you the same thing, tutoring schedules. And every time, each tutoring schedule is the same. Monday is world history at lunch, beginning at 12.05 and ending at 1. Tuesdays after school, Spanish, 2.40 to 3.40. Wednesdays after school, geometry from 2.45 to 3.45. And on Thursday, marine biology after school from 2.05 to 3.05. And on Friday, Spanish after school from 2.30 to 3.30. You can also find below average ACT scores, oh and of course pages and pages of grade printouts. Last year I was diagnosed with attention deficit disorder. I actually did so bad on the ADD test that I scored negatively, which kind of makes me the Michael Jordan of horrible attention spans. So is there a cure? Yes there is, and it comes in many different forms, and they all have the same negative effect on you. ADD medication, I've been on several of them, you name it. Vyvanse, different forms of Ritalin, Stratera, Concerta. And every time I'm on them, I get the same questions. What's wrong with you? Are you sad? Why aren't you acting the same? Before class one day, we said prayer, and one of my friend's intentions was for my ADD medication to wear off so I could be funny again. I don't know how else to explain them except for mental handcuffs. They take everything you like and make you hate them. And they don't replace any of your likes with any other likes. You just hate everything. So it all comes down to one single, simple equation. Take the pills, less tutoring hours, sad max. Happy Max, no pills, more tutoring hours. Less tutoring hours, more pills, sad Max. Less tutoring hours, happy Max, no pills, more tutoring hours. Less tutoring hours, less tutoring hours, happy Max, no pills, more tutoring hours. Happy Max, no pills, more tutoring hours. Who would have thought that one little pill could cause so much stress? So it comes down to one question. Pills or no pills? Well, I could tell you which I chose, or I could tell you this. My name is Max, and I'm happy. I met a bird in Anaheim who was confined in walls of time. She said she'd be around now. It She meant that she would dance within my dream.